Hello friends, this is Rohit back for session on chart uh, overview uh, that we have in TopStockResearch.com. Right? So basically, uh, stocks in TopStock Research, uh, we have technical charts, we have financial charts, we have interactive charts, chart data up to 25 years. You can save the charts once you play, uh, find the magic settings, you can save it. You can customize to some extent. It's 100% browser based. That means you don't need to install any software for this. Just your regular operating system, uh, Windows or uh, Mac or Ubuntu. And no plugin is required. So basically, it is like on the go. You can use from anywhere uh, 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 as long as you have a uh, machine with you. Right? All right. So charts in top stock research. Uh, so where do you find these charts? Number one is. Uh, interactive standalone page, right? Uh, where do you locate that? So once you log into my.topstockresearch.com on left hand side, uh, when you hover the mouse, I click on charts, that's where you'll see the interactive charts, right? Now you see a very weird chart because that was one of the charts perhaps that we have seen in the previous sessions or in the, in the previous term. Uh, let's look at the stock let's, uh, chart of let's say Nifty, Nifty 50. So uh, this is how you will you will see the charts. Again, the chart looks like a uh, OHLC, which some of you may not be familiar. Uh, again, the setting here is because in the previous session that we had uh, worked on, we retained that setting. So uh, by default, when you log in, you should see a very simple chart where you have the uh, line chart uh, and then volume behind, uh, uh, not behind, be below it. Right. So this is a very standard chart that you see. So this is the first location where you see, where you will see the charts. The second location that we see is from the pre-screen. Uh, some of you who have attended the pre-screen session uh, or some of you who have atten are attending for the first time, this is where you see the pre-screen. There are a lot of screeners out here. Click on any of the screeners. You can go on OHLC, high dose, chart patterns, quite a few screeners are there. Once, once you go to the screener, run screener, you'll see there's a small chart icon on right, right, right hand side. Uh, so this one is Dana Luzo. So on blue chip, uh, stock basket. So uh, when you see the highest gainer for the day is uh, Zomato, 19%. So uh, this is where you'll see the chart of Zomato. So this is the second place where you can see the interactive charts. Uh, you don't have to go back. You can navigate the results directly in the charts itself, right? So this is the second place. Uh, third place is from the custom screener, very similar to uh, pre-screen. You have another option where you, you can go for Custom screener, you can close this here. Uh, go here, there's a custom screener link. Click there, uh, do some settings, let's say uh, very simple settings, price above 1000. Run the screener. Yeah, right. So when the screener result comes, this is where you see the charts, right? So you can see the charts here. All right. Uh, next place for the charts is from equity page. So once you get the results, click on, let's say we click on ACC, uh, ACC, you have, so the default view is you'll see a very simple chart out here, right? Along with that, if, if you want to see more complex chart, go on technical charts and patterns. This is where you can uh, look or customize your equity page along with the chart page, right? So this is again our interactive chart or interactive streaming chart for you. Next place is from financial ratios. So you go here. Click on historical ratios. There's a small chart icon uh, available. You go click here uh, and this is where you'll see the charts. So, so the data is available here. Charts are available here. Cagr, if you want to see the uh, compound annual growth return or you want to see year on year return. So all these things are available to log, along with the chart. Next this is from financial statement, very similar to this one. You go look at financial statement. Let's say you are looking at anything of your interest, maybe uh, let's say total revenue. So click on here. You'll see that how the revenue for this particular stock is moving up or down, right? So another place. Next in line is portfolio. We'll cover that later. And shareholding pattern. So shareholding pattern, when you look at this one on key fundamental, yeah, on key fundamental, this is where it is, right? So uh, guys who have attended the sessions, uh, particularly the second session on Thursday, uh, they would know how to customize this page. If you have not attended, don't worry, uh, we, we have a lot of arrangements to bring you up to speed, right? The last one which you missed out was portfolio. So 
hover the mouse here, click on any portfolio. For example, my safe stock. I don't know what this means. Is. Again, I'm sure it was meant for one of the uh, sessions here. Right? Click on summary, and this is where you'll see the. I think there are too many stocks. Let's look at some one smaller. Right? This is how you see the pie chart. You can see by value. You can see by investment on your portfolio. You can see by which index it is part of, sector, industry. Right. So it will give you how, how your arrangement is. Uh, we'll cover this thing more in details when we cover portfolio. Right. So the uh, the idea of this particular uh, session is to show you where the uh, where uh, and what kind of charts are available in top stock research. Right. So th uh, this is this this particular part. Right. What we have covered so far is just basically to tell you where the charts are. Right. Now we'll drill down into each one of them. Uh, each one, each of the section, and uh, give you an idea of how to use it, how to save it, and so on and so forth. So, supported chart types that we have are line chart. So, we go back into charts. Right? If you see the default chart is line chart. Uh, the other options are available are candlestick, Hikinashi, and OHLC. So, where do you change those things? You go here, change to candle. It will come to candlestick. Change to OHLC. And uh, this is where you will see uh, change the other chart types. Next is combo. Right? So I'll go back into the simple line charts. Uh, majority of you would be more comfortable with it. If you are comfortable with candlestick, feel free to do that. Right. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to create combo charts. Right. So first we'll do is with an overlay. Uh, for example, we choose a 50-day moving average. You can directly go and choose 50-day moving average. We'll get it here. So some of the more commonly used ones are directly accessible to you, uh, but it doesn't limit you. You can always go and look at, let's say you're looking at a uh, EMA also. Okay, if you want to add another one, let's say you are, want to add a rated moving average on a period, which is let's say 71 and it's on close price. So just go and add. So the weighted moving average, WMA 71 on close price comes here. Right. So this is how you can add multiple overlays or if you want to add, let's say, uh, uh, if you want to add, uh, let's say, HL band or MA channel. So you can click here. You can add MA channel also here. Right. This is how you can add multiple overlays. Uh, then uh, to keep the chart simple, uh, what I'll do is I'll remove some of those stuff so that it looks clear. Right. Uh, the bottom panels so some of the some of the technical indicators they they generally appear below for a good reason because the values are much different right when it comes to moving average it goes or it goes pretty similar to this pattern whereas uh, something like an rsi is completely different right so it, it it goes in a particular band of 0 to 200 so it's generally displayed here and that's where that's what we also do over here right so you can add multiple of these uh, bottom panels also right so combo charts uh, you can add, uh, let's say, fifth. so overlays and bottom panel. You can go on and add more uh, bottom panels as much as you think it is required for you. All right. Uh, the next one here is financial charts. We have roughly seen financial charts. Right? Financial charts go to the uh, go to stock of your choice. Let's say we go into ACS. Uh, financial charts are available here. That's what we just saw a while back, right? So these are financial charts which are available. So these are supported chart types that we have, pie charts we have seen some time back, right? Now, uh, basically the charts, right? Uh, again, I'm going and trying to go very simple. You remember guys, uh, last time when we uh, moved out of this, we had 15 MA, uh, we had RSI, we have Mandy, right? So, uh, and it was on ACC, right? So it retains your setting, at least the last visited settings. So let's go and keep things very simple to start with. Right. So what you can draw is basically chart on close. If you want to, so some of some sometimes you may want to, or once you get a little more idea about right, what you might want to do is you want to go on a high, right? Uh, on high or maybe a low because close doesn't really reflect very well a lot of things, right? Uh, so some some of the users may prefer to go by high plus low by two or high plus low plus close by three or open high low close by four right so these are multiple different ways where you can do it so for example the uh, the chart that we see now is close uh when you change it to a more 
balanced one, OHLC by four, you'll see the chart style changes, right? And when the chart style changes, a lot of other things or the interpretation also changes here, right? So these are about the chart types which are uh, also on the fields on which you can draw the charts, right? The last one is a little more interesting. Uh, you can do on volume also, right? So if you do on volume, you just see the volume, right? Just the volume pattern. Sometimes it is very important to just see the volume and remove all the noise. So anything which is purely on volume is what, what you will be seeing here, right? On the charts. So that pretty much covers this particular section. What we have is basically we have rich interactive charts. You can do a lot of interaction with the charts. We have all standard indicators. You can customize the indicators. Okay. So Let's go back uh, when we say indicators, right? If you're looking for to add any, uh, let's say a moving average, this is what we saw. You have list of few moving averages. You can choose the period and on the, uh, on, on the field, right? So let's keep it simple. Just add 50, right? Mm -hmm. An idea, right? So next is, uh, the technical indicators, some of the indicators, uh, and in fact, most of the commonly used indicators we covered over here. So you can add some of them are overlays. Some of them are water panels. For example, uh, Bollinger Band is an overlay, right? Uh, and some of them, uh, let's say, uh, MACD is bottom panel. And maybe let's say we go to Williams R. That's again a bottom panel, right? So this is how you can add stocks. And these are this is what we meant by that we support so many indicators. Uh, now, the one which we see here, right, is basically on uh, standard, uh, uh, this thing, 14 uh, period, uh, Williams, and it uses uh, a, a certain overbought and certain oversold level, right, minus 20 and minus 80. Now, if you want to change it, so two ways of doing it, you can go from the standard approach, uh, click here, click on Williams, and then the settings of Williams will come here. That's one option. The second option is you can directly go from here, click on this part, and the same thing comes over here, right? So instead of 14, let's say if you want to look at maybe a, a nine day period, right? So just click on nine day and the Williams R settings will change, right? You see nine here from 14, it is 14. And then so this is how you can change it. If you feel that overbought level is not the correct level for you, uh, the standard level, you want to change it to minus 30, you can go and see, right? So uh, this overbought oversold level will help you to you know, visualize uh, the chart level with, in which territory it belongs to. Customize indicator, we have seen. Uh, similarly, let's look at uh, one of the other indicator, MACD. So the indicator that we have is 12, 20, uh, 26.9. And what we have for Bollinger Band is, let's keep it relatively cleaner, right? Uh, to see how things are by removing some of the stuff. Okay. So the Bollinger Band here, the Bollinger Band here uses two standard deviation. If you want to change it to, let's say, one standard deviation, so just go there, and then it becomes one standard deviation. So once you see one standard deviation, there are too many breaches of the uh, Bollinger Band uh, uh, right out here, right? both upwards as well as downward directions compared to uh, the standard two. You'll find that okay, it's generally trades within the band. All right, so the next one we have is moving average, a type of moving average. We have roughly seen that. So the moving average, you have a lot of options to select for. So a lot of acronyms are used here and the details are mentioned a little bit here. So a small set of documentation out here. Then you can download the charts. How do you download the charts? I will come to that in, in, in a while uh, when we take that session in details. So a lot of times you do a lot of settings, right? After after do you doing the settings, maybe you want to save it for future use, just download it. These book takes from five minutes to quarterly takes. So the ticks are available here. Uh, you can go, the daily tick is here. There, there are so many more ticks, which we'll be covering in a short while. You can compare two stocks in one chart. We'll again cover that in a short while. This is just to give you an idea of the features that we have in the chart right now.